Good evening, this is Kuro. Got a tier 10 game in my Z52, going over the matchmaking, have an enemy Midway, Salem, Minotaur, Cleveland, enemy DDs, Gearing, Shima, Haragumo, and Kiev rounding out the threats to my ship. And we're going to kick this thing off. I spawn over on the south side uh, on CCAP. And my intention is to push up towards CCAP, maybe cap it basically at least scout it for my team so if you haven't seen Z52 videos from me before um, this ship there's you know some there's some hard feelings people have about this ship um, that happened back under the radar meta um, where people just act like this thing it's it's not nearly as strong as it used to be and I disagree um, this this destroyer is still fantastically strong and it, it really does come down to you the end user trying to figure out how to use hydro other than just the the usual you know drive right into a dd smoke up and hydro uh, it's a lot more more subtle uh requires a lot more finesse to do it correctly than than just that and this isn't going to be a clean game there's there's some a couple mistakes i make here there's a couple opportunities that maybe I shouldn't have taken uh, and then there's definitely one that I think that I should have taken so right up here dropping my torps I screw that drop up uh, I derp one torp right into the island that's an error um, but I'm pushing up here and I'm basically taking this position you can see my hydro I know there's something close by over here, so I want to basically take my hydro and just wrap it around this area of the cap. And I spot a Montana that's pushing hard. I spot a Salem. That's telling me I, I can't stay here. Uh, there's likely going to be a significant amount of, the, of uh, the enemy pushing up here. And that's just going to... That's going to get complicated quickly. So, I was looking to see if there's any other torpedoes. Just decide, you know what, I'm just going to go on ahead and uh, pop my hydro. And start moving here. Uh, one change that I do run that's maybe a little different than, uh, than other people. I don't run the propulsion module on this. I run uh, steering gears. Uh, here we've got a Haragumo that pushed right into the cap. And I'm basically kiting away from this, uh, this Salem. I want to clear this island. And then I'm just going to smoke up. And at this point, I know that I'm pretty safe. Uh, my Hydro's going to really hurt this Haragumo. Could have aimed a couple of these shots a little better and uh, think I'd really uh, have finished this guy off. I should have already been switching to HE. That's another error. I bounced that shot. Really, this should be the killing shot right there. But because I, I didn't switch on the last shot, this guy gets away. So that's grave mistake number one. just trying to throw some blind shots out there see if I get lucky um, I see uh, these guys they're further out than I I'm thinking <clears throat> this Kiev is just going ham so I'm just gonna try to use this last bit of my smoke uh, try to get some damage on him I'm stepping on the cap and that's maybe I get lucky maybe I can Maybe I can get this, uh, but I'm getting 
blind shot from the Haragumo. This is missed opportunity number one. I'm sitting here. I'm, I'm, I don't, my smoke's jished off cooldown. If I shoot, I know I'm going to be detected a long time. There's a Salem there. He can shoot me a lot. I should have taken that shot. Um, should have taken that shot and just tried to use these islands to try to, to disengage. Um, because that, that Haragumo is going to be a, a pest. You know, as this game goes on. Now here I see the big giant smoke screen from this gearing. That's going to tell me something's likely going to push through here. So, just going to drop both my sets of torps through here. I see already shots coming in from back in here. That's going to make me think that uh, they're pushing through here. So maybe I get lucky I'm trying to call target on this Minotaur At the end of the day I don't really want to let them have this cap this gearing is actually pushing up and proxy spotting our Minotaur that's a really good play right there and our Minotaur is starting to push uh, <coughs> their Minotaur I just decide I'm gonna open up try to distract this minotaur try to get some resets maybe get lucky but i think that their minotaur got his heal off and is able to uh to farm that or to to repair that um uh, right here now one thing to note i'm gonna pause it right here um i've been grinding a a straight up competitive captain for z52 and uh, the captain basically is i'm taking advantage of the um the improved jack of all trades and the thing is with z52 you've got a lot of really strong tools but then you have these really long cooldowns so it's like you you can hit the enemy hard with uh, with your consumables particular particularly using you know all three of them at once uh, you're able to unless there's radar pretty much act with near impunity um, within that six kilometer circle um, the jack of all trades rather than adrenaline rush that gets you uh, much quicker cooldowns on your smoke on your hydro your speed boost um the the final three points on the captain uh, is still going to be superintendent uh just because the consumables are so strong on this boat i am running rpf um norm my normal z52 captains i i don't but because this is, you know, going to be something for clan battles, something like that, my team uh, prefers to have RPF on their destroyers. So I run RPF here, just like I run uh, RPF on a Vetchkin with, uh, with my Grozovoy. Um, so that's a little something different about the captain. Uh, this is mistake, grave mistake number two. My intention here, I see that I've got Hydro coming. This Montana, he's just got done repairing a, a flood. He, he took a lot of significant damage. So I've got, you know, twofold. I'm looking to see if I can, you know, maybe finish this guy off with fires. Uh, I've got a Hydro that's popping up. Maybe one of these destroyers pushes in here. And I'm able to, uh, for example, finish off uh, the Haragumo. Uh, maybe I can, you know, deal with this Kiev. It doesn't really work out this way. This uh, Minotaur that was low HP, he's he has repaired. Uh, I'm throwing Torps here just, just to hedge a bet, just in case the Minotaur is trying to rush me. I see the uh, the Montana. He has blue as DCP. I did pick up a fire, 
So this is really tempting me right here to try to to get any sort of you know extra fire on him. I get a second fire on him and he's going to be in rough shape. He's not running fire prevention, so there's a, a decent chance. I see the Kiev, and I'm really starting to, to get worried here. And then the Minotaur pops up. I know I'm dead at this point. So what I want to do is I want to angle at the Minotaur because he can kill me near instantly if uh, he is able to, to pin my ship. Um, I've got AP loaded, and I'm just going to try to go to town on this Kiev. Uh, you see the Haragumo pop up. He's shooting me. Uh, I don't really have time to to switch my guns to the other side. But just trying to get last little bit of damage I can on uh, on uh, that Kiev. And really, I should have just been bailing. Should have popped my speed boost and just you know ran with my with my Grozovoy. You know, maybe be able to <clears throat> to spot these ships as uh, we're coming through. Um, the Kiev could complicate that um, because he's much faster than my ship. Um, but if I got more separation from the the Minotaur, uh, the Hydro smoke combo would pretty easily kill that Kiev before he could actually rush me. Um, now, the heroes of the, of this game, I mean, I did an alright job delaying CCAP. Uh, this isn't a spectacular game on my behalf. Um, uh, this is one that, you know, there was, there was some clear errors that I made. Um, it's, uh, this PWP division. And, uh, if you look... This is a really strong combo here, gearing with uh, Des Moines. He's basically laying a, a smoke column or a smoke curtain for the Des Moines to push up here and uh, basically block this area off. And PWP is a clan that uh, they've... They're very competitive. I think they, they won King of the Sea this year. Um, you know, they look like they're going places. Now, if you look here, you've got Synergy here. The DD is actually helping out uh, shooting the Salem. Uh, Des Moines versus Salem. Salem should win that every time, unless the Salem's giving broadside in. Here, the Salem gets hammered. Haragumo pops up. They're gearing. Uh, our gearing and Grozovoy finally finished that guy off um and then everybody starts focusing in on on the salem to note the gearing is firing ap into the broadside of the salem that does help out quite a bit now this is nasty the minotaur pops up and i mean this is what i'm talking if a minotaur gets gets access to your broadside on a dd look at those chunks i mean that's that's why i angled away he gets he gets screwed because he's got a dodge torps and uh it opens him up to the minotaur and uh that's just not good Uh, his div mate though did did help him along with the uh, I believe uh, this Republic they both were able to uh, put down the Minotaur and that puts this game pretty much in our hands um, the team mostly held A and B all ma all game and you know just kept delaying delaying at C and uh, you know that's that's how it went so uh basically included this game wanted to to have a, a game where kind of really got to point out some errors that that i made uh honestly today just i've i'm running on practically no sleep most of the week and i'm just not playing at my best level and 
that probably has a, a, a pretty significant factor in just my, my decision making. And that's something that when you're trying to play at a high level, um, you know, taking the, the time and effort to, you know, be fully rested, you know, if, uh, if you're tired, you know, have a coffee, have a Coke, you know, have something to kind of jumpstart your system. Uh, these are all things that, uh, a lot of competitive players will do just to, you know, make sure that they're, they're up to, up to, you know, uh, their regular, uh, performance level or performing the best I can. Uh, we're going to win here on points with, uh, these guys putting down the Montana and that's the game. End of the game, 109,000 damage, four base defenses. Um, you can see that uh, this combo, always strong. Um, usually a Des Moines doesn't do that kind of level of uh, base XP unless they've gotten support from a destroyer or they just had a, a really good game able to, to hammer destroyers and or cruisers something like that and uh you know hats off to, to pwp for this one they definitely helped put this one over the top for us and uh you know helped us out when i wasn't playing to my very best uh just taking a look at seeing you know what how I did with the, the HP trades and I gave up too much HP on this Haragumo uh, and the reason was just trying to, to make sure that I was out of radar range for the Salem for that engagement but that couple extra seconds really cost me HP wise I had a Minotaur shooting at me as well as the, the Haragumo um, so anyway this is a game this is uh This kind of is uh, guys that send me uh, videos for a, a personal replay. Uh, I usually do it on a, a a basis of, you know, somebody, I, see, I hear or see somebody struggling with a ship, I'll, I'll have them send me a replay. Uh, and I, I, I try to pick it apart, uh, just like I did in this game. I'll, I, there's probably some people going, he did 109,000 damage in a DD, you know, in a CV game, you know, what's wrong with you? That's, that's a fantastic game. It doesn't matter. It, there's always something that you can do better to just make it just that little bit extra. Um, so what I try to do in my videos, I've, I've had guys send me, you know, 300,000 damage games and you know i'm picking it apart to well you screwed up that one shot right there and you could have you could have you know made more damn you always try to, to do something to um get the get them to to improve you know if you would have aimed this way or at this portion of the ship you would have got you know more damage out of out of that volley um and it, it can get tough when you're you're you know at those level games where uh, basically you know 300,000 damage game um, damn near everything coming out of your ship is is you know hitting for for decent damage um, but you know the point of these videos that I do it's to always try to improve always try to to learn new things uh, so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this game if you've got any questions or comments leave them below and i will talk to you guys later have a good night